Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video. We are still in the Sketch Basics video series and in the last video, in the first one, I said that I want to talk about the layer list interface part uh, in a video. So I want to give you a quick overview of this feature. Uh, I already introduced it in the first video, but it's in general a good way to just talk about that separately because it has a couple of functions and we should look at them. So if you start a new document in Sketch, it will probably look like this. You need to add a new artboard uh, and the artboard can be inserted using the button right here or using your keyboard hitting the A key. Um, we have two artboards here right now, but the first thing that we should talk about is pages. Now you see that we have only one page right here, but if I go back into my, uh, my example file, you see that uh, we have two pages right here. A page one that should be prob should probably be called uh, app icon. And then we have a second one which is called symbol. Now symbols is a pretty advanced feature that we will be talking about in an upcoming video. But uh, I just want to demonstrate you how it looks like if you have more than one page or if you open a sketch free file, a freebie then uh, it can be possible that you have more than one page and it should definitely be worth looking at your list right here or clicking the arrow to expand it. Um, back to our own file, uh, we have only one page right here but we can add more pages. So I will give you an idea of how it will look like if you have a real project. So. Normally you will have a logo or you will design a logo for a certain company or maybe for an app or a website, then you will probably go and create a page called logo or maybe you will call it corporate identity or so. Then you will create a new page for the app design, then maybe a new page for the, web, for the website uh, and maybe your client also wants you to create business cards then it's great to have separate pages for that because if you have only one page and everything is in it it will probably become a big mess. Okay the next thing in our layer list is an artboard. Artboards are pretty great features because uh, you don't just create rectangles in the size of a certain screen like an iPhone but you create artboards that have predetermined uh, values like predetermined sizes of course you can add also an artboard just in the size that you want but it's always a good shout to create an artboard using one of those devices right here and we have a couple of different presets we have Apple devices Android devices responsive web devices, paper sizes and custom ones. And you can even change the orientation of your device. In my case, I'm going to create a new artboard for the iPhone. But of course, we are still in the logo page. That's why I'm dragging it over into my web page. Uh, sorry, into my app page. Now, we have it right here, but we can't really see it. That's why we scroll out and see that it's here. I will set it to zero zero so we have a starting point of our artboards and now we can start to add things like maybe we want to create a button then i hit u to create a new element and we have a new rectangle right in here we can check and change some of the values to make it more, uh, make it look like a button um and it will look like that you can add more layers by dragging them in. You can go on the internet, go check and copy uh, images and just drag them in. We have some predetermined uh, interface elements, for example, for the iPhone X, for the iPhone 10, And we have a couple of bars, like a status bar that is always necessary and a couple of other things. So this could be our first iPhone app. Um, you have two layers right here. This one is a symbol. It's connected to a uh, layer that will probably be somewhere else now because we inserted it from a pre, uh, pre-created uh, preset. And um, we have a rectangle. Now in our layer list, we can now rename uh, our layer and I will call this button background. And you can also hide your layer here if you want to do that. 
you can also do different things like you can copy it, duplicate it, uh, you can copy the style of your layer because maybe you have another button or another thing that you want to style in the same way. Then let me give this some custom color like this red color right here. And now let me copy the style of it and paste the style to our second element. So it's pretty easy to copy that and to work with different layers. We can do more than that though. We can create symbols and that will be part of an upcoming video. We can transform it and we can mask it. And I want to show you how a mask works in Sketch. You will have a different, Im uh, different element, maybe an image. I will just copy that here real quick. And then we can open our data uh, function and add a face. So this guy, for example, we can now work with the button that we created. And uh, for example, mask our face into our button if you want to do that. So we go and select the bottom layer that will be our mask and we hit mask. So every element that is above this layer right now will get masked to it. We can also go and hit ignore underlying mask. That way our status bar will stay um, like that. And now we can just see that the face layer is actually within our button. So now that we have a mask for this button right here, we can do all kinds of different cool things. For example, we can add new text and this will be the name of this person. And we can add a layer that is maybe the job description or the job name for the user right here. Um, let me style that a little bit. But for example, um, we can just select the name of our user right here. And we can simply go to data and add names. That way we can just use a custom name and we can simply um, position it in the middle so that we have a cool user badge right here. Another thing that I want to show you in the layer list is the ability to filter layers. I prepared a file because sometimes you have so many layers you just don't know which one you want to select. For example, I'm looking for a delete, a trash bin icon, and I don't know where it is. I can simply type in delete right here, select the layer because it showed me that there's a delete layer in here and I see that it is right there. I can simply go and paste it over in my badge and have a cool way to also delete the user that I have right here. Maybe get rid of the opacity a bit. And uh, that way we can delete the user as well. So now that we are able to paste layers also within the mask, you can of course also drag them out of the mask and they are not part of it anymore. Um, you can also select all of those layers and uh, click either group selection or select the group function right here and um, have a, I don't know, profile badge also. You have now a group of those layers that we just worked with and it's super easy to work with layers, work with groups and masks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a couple of new things and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.